Testing one, two. Good afternoon, church. Bless the Lord. This is the day the Lord made. We were out there yesterday in honor of Kamala Harris, trying to drum up some support. Today, my text come from Romans chapter 1, verse 34 to 32. I normally have my prayer book around, but I guess uh, in organizing things, I misplaced it. So we get back to it when it come back in contact with me. The devil is a liar, and we'll be all right. <laughs> The result, church, of man's rebellion. We, we are still dealing with the theme of God, divine wrath against sin, church. In this passage, we find the results of man's rebellion against God told in clear, precious language. Church, I would like to call your attention to three terms that are used in our text this evening. They are, God also give them up. God gave them up. And God gave them over. These phrases, church, tell us that this is a limit to the patience and long suffering of God. As we study these verses, church, it will become apparent that when man makes his choice to abandon God, God will also choose to abandon man. That is a sobering thought. Church, we are surrounded by millions of people who have been abandoned to the lifestyle that have been chosen over God, that they chose over God. These people are capable of any sin imaginable this evening, church. The truth is, there are people we all know who are living a life that exists under the shadow of that is the result of their abandonment of God and of his subsequent abandonment of them. With that in mind, church, let's look into these sobering verses and try to learn a little more about the result of man rebellion church the substance of man's sinful rebellion based in sinful choices man chooses sin over god because sin is buried is 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 uh, bound up in his whole heart the nature, the natural man will always choose his sins over the will of God. The word of God and the purpose of God, man is a sinner and nothing can redeem that short, that sort of the shed blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Notice this church. That the more a man seek to honor himself, by exhorting over exhort his will over that of God, the more dishonorable he becomes. When he chooses sin over a relationship with the living God, his sinful nature grows more corrupt still. Corrupt present passion, passive and principle. Literally corrupting the whole character representing the formal self is not only corrupt but growing more and more corrupt 
Eve, every trait of the old man's behavior is brittle, crumbling, or inflated like rotten waste of, crop, of a corpse. It stinks and is wrapped for being disposed of and forgotten forever. That is the truth about man nature, about the nature of man church. Man, he based in sinful charges. Since man refused to live by God, he invents his own law. The result is that man also invents his own gods. The chief god using a brain self, God calls this behavior, the exchange of the truth for a lie. Man trades that which is living, helpful, and vital for that which is dead, harmful, and vain. Why does man do this? Because he still possesses an overwhelming, overwhelming desire to worship. However, he needs a God that will condone his sinful behavior. Therefore, he lives for himself and his invented God. Come on now. The substance of man's sinful rebellion, the symbols of symbol of man's sinful rebellion, because man has chosen his sin over God, man is given over to veil affections, afflictions, the depths to which man can sink are represented here. These next two verses describe the absolute bottom of the pit of inequity. The basic idea here is that there is that this is where societies always end up when they choose their ways over God's ways. It has been the cause in every major society throughout history and we are seeing the same trend in, a, in America today. Man's attraction are sickening. In these verses, church, the apostle describes the sin of homosexuality. Yes, I said, I, I, yes, said sin. He uses the picture, the absolute depths of depravity. Why this sin is not any of the thousands of others? I think the answer lies in the fact that uh, homosexual are typically given to more uh, precocious behavior than heterosexual. The strategic, uh, the statistic has found that many homosexual males have as many as 300 different sexual partners uh, in a year. The sad thing for us is that that behavior in that community is estimated to be about 1% of the population. However, they are given special privileges and are promoting their lifestyles and open, demanding that people like me, like you and me, endorse them, accept them and affirm them in what they are doing. Even those of the highest echelons of our government are extending special favors and promoting the agenda. Yet, I still find the thought of same-sex relationships overwoken, abandonment, and utterly sinful and deprive any I'm good company because of God does too. Paul tells us in verse 26 that every, that even their women were involved in the industrious, incestuous lifestyle. The emphasis here is that women are usually the last of mortality in any society. Men are more given to sin, especially sexual sin, than are women. However, Paul is describing a people who are totally given up to sinful standard of life. He might as well be writing about America. We need to be much in prayer for those who are in the forefront opposing the onslaughter of the sodomites. 
as the days go by, the battle cry will be for tolerance. The day is coming when being labeled intolerant will be results in conviction for, for a crime. There are already initiative underway that will try to force people like myself for condemning any lifestyle, especially that lifestyle. What strikes me as being really sad is the fact that certain mainline so-called Christian denominations are seriously considering accepting, ordaining, and marrying same-sex couples. That group, that same group, all for this classifying homosexuals as a sin, even the fact that it would be debated at all is almost beyond any comprehension. Man's addiction is settled. This choice is a lifestyle, and it is a choice. Bring, bring it own judgment. When God gives a man up to his, to his uh, choice of lifestyle church, that man will find that his attraction to an addiction to sin will become stronger by the day. They are literally overcome by veil affections. What used to bring a twink of a shame when committed now doesn't, uh, doesn't faze them at all. Opening the door for them to sink to ever, ever deeper levels of sinful depravity. That is the recompensing of, this, of sin. Being abandoned by God's enslaved enslaved a man to his sin fully. It is as though God had been actively restraining them and now he takes away his hand and grabs them fully to their sin and his ultimate end, to his ultimate end. This judgment also is, uh, is this judgment is also uh, evident in the physical realm. AIDS is one of the first thoughts that comes to mind. Instances of sexuality transmit disease are becoming rampant in our society, and it isn't just affecting the homosexual community. They bear the brunt of AIDS, but it is swiftly spreading to all corners of society. When a man makes Magic Johnson, when a man like Magic Johnson is diagnosed with HIV positive and admit to having had sex with as many as 2,000, 20,000 women, you begin to realize the depths of which man deprived can stink. The substance of man's sinful rebellion, the symbol of man's sinful rebellion, the scope of man's sinful rebellion seen in his decision. At this point, man's rejection of God is complete. As you uh, uh, gave themselves, gave, as you gave themselves more fully of their sin, the less more than uh, they have in their mind for God. Eventually, he is rooted totally out of the picture by the veil affection that have those people trapped. Even the gods of his own invention become less and less necessary. The person who has come this far in this his rebellion comes comes to think of himself as um, his own God, seen in de deprivation. We are told that God gives them over to a re uh, portable, reprobate mind. That refers to something that has been put to the test, church. Failed the test, failed the test, and has been rejected. The word was used to refer to the refining of metals. The idea is that man does not want God in their lives. So he gives them over to the power of a totally deprived mind. At this point, they are absolutely capable of sin, and sin imaginable. The apostle gives us a list of 23 sins. These are not meant to be an exhaustion list of possible sins. 
but it is a mere representation of the sin of which man is capable of committing. Most of, of most are self-explanatory, but a word needs to be used about a few anyway. Unrighteous, fornication, fornication, and wickedness. These three categories of sin encompass all those listed below. And that and every other form of sin imaginable. They are all represented in these words. Convulsions, appetite for the things of others, malicious, ill will, and vengeance, envy. It is the spirit that wants not only the things that another person has, but because the fact that the person has them. It is the spirit that wants not only the the thing uh, to be taken away from the person, but wants him to suffer through the loss of them. Murder, obvious, debate, a spirit given to fighting, descent, descent, uh, pure old lion, deceit, pure old lion, a spirit to define evil, evil, envy, and hatred, that it loves nothing better than the destruction of another human being. A whisperer. A gospel seeks to harm man's reputation, uh, backbite him. While the one above is done in secret, the, this one is done in the open. It is the same spirit, haters of God. This is a person who hates the standards and restrictions imposed by God. His goal is to to be the God of his own life. Deceitful. A life of defiance and that desire God or other men to get in his way. This kind of person is determined to have his own way of all at all costs. Proud. Sex exhausting. Boastful. This is a bragger, a person who brags about when he, he has or what he has done, even if it isn't necessarily true. Inventor of evil things. This is a person, church, who is tired of sin as usually the, and seeks new forms of pleasure and excitement. Disobedience to parents, obviously. Watch a rebellious, rebellious child. He, she is open to all kinds of sinful activity without understanding. And this is a person who refused to learn by experience. They have rejected the truth and have closed their eyes and minds to it. Covenant banker, untrustly, refer, refers to people who will not keep their word. You simply cannot depend on them without natural affliction. Abandon affliction, abandon uh, uh, abominable affliction and love, hatred, hateless, without human emotion or love, a lack of feeling for others, abuse of no more affliction and love. Others become like more than pawns of a man's own use and benefit. Pleasure and purpose, excitement and stimulation of, of uh, abominable affection, sex and preservation that prevails. In, Implaceable, a person who is unwilling to make peace or come to an agreement, unmerciful. It is an absence of consideration or feeling for others. What matters is one own pleasure and one in rights, not the pleasure and rights of others. This describes the world in which we live, seen in his in his destiny. Church, man knows in his heart where sin will lie, will, will lay. However, he chooses to sin against his own conscience and go in his sinful activity. The pleasure of his sin with everything in his power and to make matters worse, he, fray, he pre passes his sin sinful behavior on to others by encouraging them to follow in his footsteps. They also, church, delight 
and all those who live the same lifestyle. These people encourage one another, church, in their sins while both plur or plunge headlong toward hell. Church, in the, in the conclusion, I don't know about you, church, but I find this image troubling. It has a harsh but true reality that those who reject God will ultimately be rejected by God. When they sear their conscience, they close the door to God's activity in their lives. Even though he is a God of good, of love, mercy, grace, and long suffering, he is still a God of holiness, justice, judgment, and wrath. There is a peace a price to pay for rejecting him. This is a species of an ant in Africa that builds its colonies and nests, nests in deep underground tunnels. It is here that their young and their queen live. Even though these ants may be a great distance from the nest foraging for food, they can sense when the queen is being attacked and they all become extremely nervous and uncoordinated. If she is killed, they become frantic and rush around aimlessly until they die. What a perfect illustration of a person who has rejected God in his life. Being unable, church, to find direction and peace apart from a relationship with God, he rushes around aimlessly uh, pursuing his sins until he's too, uh, until he too dies and into eternity. If you are in that shape, let me invent you, invite you to come to Jesus for salvation this evening. If you know someone in this shape, let me challenge you to pray for them. If it may even be that you are saved but have allowed some of these sins mentioned in these verses into your life you need to get that dealt with right now i invite you saint of god to come to the lord and seek a fresh renewed walk with the lord jesus christ let's mind him this evening. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. Amen, amen. I'm looking for my prayer book and I can't find it. I don't know why. But church, if this message has been a, a blessing to you, find yourself a Bible-based church and become a part of the body of Christ in Jesus' name. Let the church say amen, amen, amen. God bless you.